Wayland Story, aka Priest. I'm watching GFG TV. So diving back in for episode two. We will continue on. Thank you for sharing a little bit about your uh, your siblings there. We will uh, dive a little bit more into your your past. And we know we you spoke about it a little bit before. Mm-hmm. Uh, can you talk about uh, uh, getting into the service? I got drafted. I dropped out of school. I got married, and while well, I'm married, then I got drafted. And. Uh, in 66, then I got married to my ex-wife, Vicky. My heart loved her. <laughs> we loved her and the kids. We had three lovely boys. And, uh, Who's your kids? What's your boys' names? William Andre, Troy Raymond, and Holly Darnell. William was the oldest. William's the one that I thought would change the whole family. I'm not talking about the whole family was just, I stayed on, he's smart, real smart. And I thought he could change the family, get the whole business going on, you understand? And he disappoints me, even though I thought he wasn't selfish. Yes, he, that's the selfishness. And I deal with that, you understand? But I wasn't an asshole daddy. I was good, you know, I got problems. But, um, I never knew he would turn that way. I just thought he would be more open instead of selfish. Where does he live at? Who knows? I don't know. He doesn't live in Des Moines? No, no. He hasn't lived here for years. Okay. But when you say years, what's the last recollection you have of him being being in or living in Des Moines? Maybe five, six years. I guess he's been in here a couple of times. I was thinking just recently was here, you know. In fact, he was over here, you know. But uh, I didn't see him or Rebel didn't see him. And my mother raised him. Raised him, you know. But I believe, right or wrong, when you can't stand up for what you are, I made a mistake. Let's get on now. I love it, Paul. Let's go. Mama started with that. But when you can't do that, well, stay down in that movie. See, because you ain't in the majors. Because you'll strike out every time. Once you come back as a man, I was wrong. Cool. We'll That's my oldest. My middle son Troy. He was my heart. This is the one from day one. My burning man's hands for cigarette. That's how, how close I stayed with. He stayed with me and my arm from my baby on. We traveled. You said you burned his hand with a cigarette. Yeah. <laughs> he grabbed his burning hands. That's how close. You yeah, know, he yeah, gave yeah, me yeah. constant. And uh, through my endeavors, <laughs> he was always with me, you know, always. And, uh, ooh, it just like I'm saying, and then I was proud of him. He was a very gifted athlete, gifted, you know, and everything. And I had them all, you know, living with Grandma. Yes, sir. And, uh, you know, you don't want to go back home. Well, so, yeah, all three of them was living with you at one point in time. At one time, it was at Browns. Absolutely. Not because that was my place. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know, she raised them, you know. And uh, he got hit on August the 10th. And, uh, but it was his hap- one of his happiest days because his son called him on his birthday. And his son's birthday called him, and my son got hit that night. So when you say guy hit, elaborate, what happened? Car hit him on his motorcycle. Okay. And back him in the street like a bunch of rags, you know. And uh, that hurt me, you know. And uh, well, you know, life goes on with them and then they wind up. To know my son, he was a very athletic and everything else. Player, all, had all the war for him. He was not going to lay in no bed. Uh, vegetable like that, he couldn't, you know. So we had the court full. That was a hard thing, you know. But did they ever find who did that? Yeah, it was all. Yeah, that sure do. Mm-hmm. And they they won the day. They were prosecuted. Did they spend time in jail, or do you know? Well, I don't know about that part of it, but uh, there's a lot of stuff in that. I mean, a lot of stuff, and uh, I don't want to elaborate on all yeah. that. But there was a lot of stuff involved in that. But they both. 
he knows I know who he is, you know, and uh, that hurt me, you know, but you know, life goes on. And we got the little one. Who's the little one? Holly Darnell. I say he was <laughs> my drug baby. <laughs> <laughs> he, he ain't got no understanding. <laughs> he can't help it. <laughs> my baby boy can't help it. He can't help it. <laughs> I love him and um, sport him. He was just, you know, but he's, he's cool. And he comes around a lot now and he um, really inspires me now, you know. He's to make him mature a lot. I just didn't think he had, but like, so he had problems. <laughs> but, other than that, he was good. He worked hard. He, you know, don't get in no trouble. And I'm proud of him. And I got another son, Orlando, by another woman. His sister, Beth and Orlando, they're by another woman. I have five kids. Two by one woman, three by Vicky. I've never around Orlando. He's been here a couple of times when all of them was here. When I first got a divorce, it was all at mom's. Wow. And, uh, he the one that lived in Vegas. Huh? He the one that lived in Vegas. Yeah. And, uh, well, we get there, but I, I, I can't blame him because of me, you know, my ignorance, you know. And they all understand, well, you do this here, but you can't do this here. Well, that's being real, you know. It's just the way it happened, you know. But I can't be, you know, saying that, well, I said I'm sorry. You know, pause, but I can't do no more. Right, right. Get on with it, get on, but we talk kicking that, and um, he uh, made my day in Super Bowl. He had McCombs in him on his bus, he chartered the bus, he had him. He drove home, sent them around, got the picture, the trophy, but he sent it to me. He didn't have to do that to me, but he sent it to me, you know. He's six, seven. And we got a little more than me and felt that. How part of him doing this, but that's cool too. But at least felt, here dad, this is boom, 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 let me yeah. show you this, you know. And and then my oldest daughter, she is, as her mom says, she's me, because she is a daddy. <laughs> she is large, you know, and she's cool, you know, and they all good, but you know, you say three or two and you take care of them, you know, they gotta feel the way, you know, this is the way it is, you know, but at the time you care about somebody else stronger, don't tell me the poor woman that got pool. We got the pool. You think you do. You ain't got no pool. They got the pool. Right. And I let that interject my life toward this, you know, by like coward or whatever. I should have, but I didn't. And I can't cry like that. I didn't do it. So that's life. You know, get on. You know, new chapter, whatever you start, you know. But I won't play. I've done it. I said, I'm sorry. Sorry, right, don't have a little coop. You know, right. come get on. You know, hope you'll come on. If you don't, that's all right, too. But other than that, that's part of them. That's my kids. That part of life, there it is. Not rest. We can go anywhere else. We can go, go to Vietnam. Wow. Let's talk grandkids, man. How many grandkids oh, you think you got? Oh, God. I think 16, 17. Oof. And I got nine great grandkids. Oof. And you know, it, it, it killed me one time because, like I said, I got all these boys, you know, the three boys, you know, where, where, where are the kids? <laughs> Why y'all rocking the road? Well, I hear no break down from something, you know, but then all of a sudden, bam, they started hitting. Boom, 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 you know. Yeah, and I see them once in a while. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, got a big family. Big family. They all call them. They call them Papa. Yeah. And, um, they're all cool. They're all cool. The girls. Uh oh. The girls, <laughs> I don't like, I can't say. Because if the younger breed would do you, I have to that younger breed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know y'all do somebody don't care. <laughs> so, 
So I keep my mouth shut, but I love them all there too. Uh, they'll call, they, you know, they call, you know. Not on the basis that I make them with like, respect. But that's cool too. They got a life too. That's yeah, so, um, They all go, yeah, we got a bunch of them. So you said you went to Vietnam. Yeah. Vietnam. Elaborate on that. What was that like? You said you got drafted? Uh, yeah, that's right. I told you I was only scared of two things. How long was you over there? Twelve months. Okay. Uh, and from year to year, from February to February. Okay. Yep. And, um, what year was that? 1967 to 1968, I've done eight months in infantry. Uh, we went in. I'll never forget it. You know, you know, you out there on the street, you think you're the baddest thing walking. You know, I did the Ponderosa. That's all they know me. You know, I go down, I do, you do what's so, but over there, don't play basketball. <laughs> they show you a sissy. <laughs> they show you something you ain't about. And uh, I never smoked weed. I never even knew about weed here. I'm gonna show you, and I know it's here, but I never knew nothing about that. Nobody bringing that wine, boomstorm, and all that stuff. Our group coming up, you know. And um, I went into this outfit, non for reconnaissance, four forty seven. Uh, the company was off, and there was two dudes there when I went into the thing, and here yeah, I'm trying to be arrogant and tough. I don't know what I think, but they find, you know, every time I smoke weed, do a new joint, sit in, you know. How old was it? 19. 19. I hid it. Like I said, I rubbed my mouth. This shit ain't shit. <laughs> I call him Swami because he changed my life. His words are hair toughy. <laughs> Before I got to hit the second one, I was crying. I want to go home. <laughs> I want to go <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I never forget the other ones I live. Like I think about, mm, I've been cutting maybe 50 days, I'm like, never smoked again. I mean, that's so scared me. Scared me. I never thought like that. You think it was laced with something other than just weed, or you think it was just some good weed? <laughs> we good weed in the head. I'm talking about the best. You never know, had all this stuff in man. No, I said good. It was bad. Uh, then I was on guard duty one night. I met a dude in the bus. He said, well, when hit this. I said, nah. He said, man, so the night going on, we get through. I hit that and knew the facts of what I was, and I never looked back after that. It was weed again? Yeah, weed again. Yeah. And, uh, there was dudes in our group that had been doing heroin. It was an older, we was called the Green Boots because our boots were still green. Them older dudes, you know, brothers, was, you know, out there and what you see and it can't, it takes something, it takes your soul. What's some shit you seen that you feel comfortable saying on camera? I say a little, what I've killed, who I've killed, kids. Uh, you kill people? Yeah. Wow. Kids, yeah. In the name of what? I think it's the name of country. Well, whatever this is, you don't do that stuff to people. Absolutely. You just don't do it. I don't care, you know. But I did it, and it's like it's bothering me right now that boo, you know. But it was done, and I've seen things that no person supposed to see. You got them that's war mongers, or you want to call them. They just, that's the same, you know. It don't mean nothing but, wow, well, boy, <laughs> you know what I You saw that gangster, you know, we lived in Chicago or New York or Cleveland, none of that stuff. And to see that, and then see what it is, and then to what they're turning you to be. You know, 
don't kill her. So they can keep me. And you don't care. It's a mess. But that's why I got PTSD now. Post trauma stress disorder. There's nightmares, there's a whole nine yards. But I was God is the gift of God that keeps me sane. And I go off. You're what kind of nightmares do you have from that shit? Of the war of sin and what I've done. The people crying and the kids crying and this dog stuff. You know, yeah. this whoa, you know. In the name of what? Freedom? That's not freedom over there. You're taking their resources. And that's been a man all his life. Take, take, take. And no one give. That's real. And that's the real thing. In there, you know, they call me black, whatever you want to call me. But it's my country. And you're not going to talk shit to me because you end up dead. Leave me alone. Have you ever dealt with racism here? You know, really, I'm Scott. No. And we get that a lot on this channel. Yeah. No. I've never been called a nigga. Yeah. You know, I'm not here. You know, I'm serious. You know, yeah. I've been called a nigga, but not here. Yeah. You know. And we all ran together, you know, white flags, but we all did it, you know, we all did it, you know, it just, that's what I'm saying, it's the people of my age that has so much power and so much hungriness, they want to go back, they don't want to be what's real, you see, there's no heroes, only hero, excuse me, is white man, but that's not real, we all done our part. This is why they try to cut all this, you know, stuff back, take it back. So you're hero, you're this, you're that, but we're nothing. Ain't nobody gonna do that no more. You know, this I look at it. And I say, I'm gonna put that flag in my else out there right now, but I gotta put it there. I am American. And whatever you think about me, that's gonna leave me alone. So what do you feel like when people say that uh Patriotism is the new racism. Do you believe that phrase? Mm -hmm. No. Because <laughs> racism runs it. Stimulant racism is just it. You I'm saying, like, for example, like, uh, to, like the American flag. They're saying, they're saying that's similar meaning to like racism nowadays. Patriotism representing the country, but they're saying the country is representing racism. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, I understand all that, but I'm saying that's that. When Donald Trump put all that stuff, yes, sir. when the brothers kneel, we kneel for a purpose. We're trying to get him killed, but he took it another way about the flag. But you, if the flag means that much, why are you wearing it as a shirt? Why are you wearing it on your pants? Right. All this crazy stuff are, still, are running through, tearing up in the White House and with the flag. Is that patriotism? What are you trying to do? Take something that you already got. Because it didn't work your way? I care about that flag. What's your thoughts on Donald Trump? The motherfucker. But he's smooth. Like they say, don't don't they fair. Hey, my gay. So he's good. That man good. I don't care what you say now. I don't care. Stay tall. Don't stay tall. Yeah. Don't stay tall, yeah. Oh, make player hate the game, and he's good at what he does. What did you feel about uh, Obama, uh, Barack Obama becoming president? I loved it. I loved it. What did you love about it? First black, very intelligent, and he knew how to follow orders. Everybody follows orders. That's bad. All of us have orders to follow. And he played his game, and he played his smooth. About talking about what he didn't do, he did what they let him do. That's it. But he wasn't no clown. He was respectful. His wife was respectful. His kids were respectful. That's blacks. All they want is freedom. Be treated the same way. The law less than that. Amen. You can't be a bully. You can't be all this, but. Barack Obama bad, still bad, and they scared of me. Yeah. They need to be, because it's smooth. I'm just, after Obama, and you can ask anybody, I told them, 
you know, for the dog catcher that's president. And there's these white folks. And heard them. Black man. You can hear his name. Yeah. They got the strong president in the world. Stop at Obama. That's what they're trying to do with this history change now. Cut all that shit out. You know. You can't tell about the truth. You can't cut the truth out. It's coming. It's your generation. The young ones just gotta keep fighting. Just keep going and it'll get better. But if they don't, you're in trouble. I'm going down the hill. I'm dead tomorrow, cool. I'm doing a good life, but I'm saying y'all have to do it. You can't let them get away with this. And, I'm, and if it was all bad, if all white folks were bad, we'd all be an inch. Yeah. <laughs> there would be none of us here. But right. they're not. Right. But the good ones just don't have enough power. But then they do. Because Trump got beat. Yeah. Now you gonna call a lie, and you knew it was a lie, and they know it's a lie. Cruz, all of them. <laughs> but when Donald go down, they all went down. Or oh, they all went down. It's gonna come. What was your thoughts on the murder of George Floyd? Thought that was rotten. I sit there, honest to God, and I cried. I said, you. This man called for his mama, yeah, he did. and you did that, you know? And I was thinking about what I've done if I was right there. But knowing the situation that I had been in with being in the war and stuff, I didn't knock that man on his ass. I'd have got killed probably. But we're going to stop that shit. I ain't going to look at that. No, no. I hear Throughout the day, but I was there. Shit, they were just them to men on his 2,000 blacks killed. But the thing you can't say now, they don't have to. Because blacks are killing blacks. Stop that. Clan is laying back now, they don't care. Hey, you're killing yourselves. They ain't got to do it no more. But they ain't going to help you. They ain't got to kill us. No, that was. That and a whole bunch of things to see. But the thing I'm trying to say to y'all and everybody else, I've seen that shit in Vietnam. How dirty. People are. Yeah. To other people. And if that's what you want to believe, cool. I said, but um, nah. It ain't going back. And a lot of them out there acting as a lot of young blacks and you know, different colors and white. They're all marching together now because what daddy said about us, he's looking at it's not real. So they're protesting and it's going to be better. But it's a whole bunch like me. You gotta get them out of there. They think one way and they're not gonna change. Not gonna change, I don't care what you say. They're not gonna change. I don't change. Until the same thing, there's certain things that is gonna never change. Yeah. That's the way it is. But if you don't get out to yourselves and try to do it a little bit, you know. I'm saying, free concert. Have this, pass the voting things out so they can vote. Things to get them into it instead of just this, 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 the pants hanging all down. Yeah. Give them the vote right here to sign this so we vote. You know, I couldn't be done. You're in trouble. You're in trouble now. So all the vote don't count. Pretty says that's a fool. But this is why they shot shot from voting. See, we got all the side there saying one thing, and they talk about the blue garage. They really talk about the red line. See, so, you know, we got, we got all aspects of life. To happen. What are your opinions on the gun laws and all these mass shootings? They gotta stop it. They can stop all that. Pass them right laws, but it's money. A man cares nothing about nothing but money. You understand? Know He'll kill his own mama, block her up for money. Anytime you kill little kids, babies, and you still ain't passed the law. And here you don't just kill them all. They don't, they don't care if they want that dollar. You know? Now kill this. It'll stop. Right. I'll say it again. I'll say what it wants to say. Blacks start getting their guns and basically about that. They'll change all kinds of laws. As long as that man's got his hand there and you ain't got this, he don't give away. You don't fear him. Why don't you put fear back in his ass? Life change. 
it will change. Now, I'm not saying you got to do this and that, but you got to get an even balance. No even balance. Put fear there. Right. And things change. If you don't do it, it will change. But other than that, it's cool. It's cool. What are your thoughts on all these young teenagers and young adults overdosing from fentanyl? That's the way to kill them. Drug is always going to be here. And don't have to be. I mean, if you can stop a fly from humming, you can stop drugs. They don't want some money. Everything boils down, sir, to money. Nothing else. Money. That fit no? That's why I don't buy them to go free. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, we are done with episode two. That's it. That's it. And you gotta turn back in for episode three. <laughs> yeah, that's wild. <laughs>